Hey folks, got another ramen to try today. I picked this up at the uh, Cost Plus World Market. And I am not familiar with this brand. It's called the Ramen Way Fans. Not familiar with it. It's a pretty fancy packaging. It says premium instant noodles. This is the hot and sour pork bone flavor. So let's see. What we got in here. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's a it's a broth or what? I mean, it's not a dry packet, seasoning packet. Flavor oil. I'm liking this so far. And oh, these are the the dried veggies that go with it. There's like quite a bit in there. Interesting. Oh, and one of those that comes with the little little fork that I never use. It's just too too small for me, really. And then here's the noodles. Noodles down in there. So let's just add everything and then add our water. Try not to make a mess here now. Oh, that's pretty strong, pretty potent. I always prefer these type of seasoning, uh, you know, as opposed to a dry powder, you know? Okay, flavor oil, I'm gonna save that for after, once this is done. And then our veggies. It's quite an assortment. I wish I could buy these little veggie packs like this for ramen. I mean, I do have some, you know, dehydrated veggies, but I, this looks like some green onions and uh, we'll see. You know, a lot of times this, there's, I, I say corn and carrots. A lot of times those don't dehydrate very well. They take a long time to dehydrate or rehydrate. Okay. Let's add some water. Say, oh, yep, there's a fill line. So we'll go to the fill line. There we go. <coughs> okay, let's hit the timer. Four minutes. Come back in four minutes. That's been four minutes. Let's give it a try. Really good toss. Really seems like a lot of noodles in there now. I'm really, and I, I like the, the look of these noodles. Okay, I'm just gonna give this uh, broth a, uh, a slurp before adding this uh, flavor, flavor oil. Tastes good. Definitely has a has a pork broth flavor to it. Pretty pretty spicy actually. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's add this flavor oil. This looks like uh, chili oil. Oh, that's interesting. Is that a? Let's see, is that a? It might be a wood ear. Hmm. Yeah. Dehydrated wood ear. That's really good. I like that. Hmm. Don't find that often in an instant ramen, do you? Okay. Let's see what that broth is like with that that seasoning oil. That's really, really good. I, I get the hot, but I'm not getting much sour flavor from it. 
I like the flavor. Don't get me wrong. It, it does, does not seem like a hot and sour to me. I can always add some some Chinese vinegar to it, you know, to make it make it sour. And I might end up doing that anyway. So let's see. I like these these freeze dried uh, scallions or uh, green onions. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's one of those wood ears. Oop. Let's go. I really like this. This is really good. I'm not really getting the the sour. Uh, it, it's got a nice, nice spice, nice heat level. It's not over the top. Um, really, like I said, I can deal with the sour. I can add some uh, vinegar to it. Not a problem. But overall, the flavor is good. I like all of those uh, those veggies. Let's, let's see this. Try some of this corn. Mm. That corn rehydrated very well. I really like it. I, that's that's some good quality vegetables in a in an instant ramen. Noodles are really good. I like that style of noodle. Noodles are very tasty. Uh, they're they're you know kind of in uh, they're they're not overdone. They're not underdone. They're just about right. But I like the noodle flavor. Uh, it does have MSG, so they all pretty much do. But overall, I think the the ramen way fans, uh, specifically the hot and sour pork bone, is really good. I, I give it a thumbs up. I'd like to find more from this particular this particular brand. Uh, this is the only one I saw. So I'm going to finish this lunch and uh, look for some more next time I'm in Cost Plus World Market. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.